Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to add these scribble transitions to your videos in Premiere Pro. All right, I have created a full HD resolution sequence and I have two different video clips in the timeline. Firstly, we have to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we need to accept the same settings as the sequence. After that, move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips because this will be the center point of the transition. Next, move the time indicator five frames backward. Now we can drag the adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place the adjustment layer to this position on top of the two clips. Now we have to make the adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. In this case, I am going to use five frames on both sides. That's why let's right click on the adjustment layer and then click on speed and duration. Here, I am going to make the adjustment layer duration around 10 frames and then click on OK. All right, the adjustment layer is ready. In the next step, let's move over to the effects panel to apply a transform effect. Let's drag and drop the transform effect onto the adjustment layer. And then let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize the transform effect. Now we have to create keyframes for the scale parameter by clicking on this stopwatch icon. After that, move the first keyframe to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Again, let's create another keyframe with a value of 100. Now let's right click on the second keyframe and then select ease in. Next, right click on the first keyframe and then select ease out. After that, move the second keyframe to the end position of the adjustment layer. Now we have to move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips. Here, let's make the scale parameter value around 120. Now I am going to add a bit of motion blur to the transition. You can do this by disabling the option to use composition shutter angle. And then let's set the shutter angle value around 360. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created this simple zoom transition. In the next step, we have to drag the adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place the adjustment layer to this position on top of the two clips. And then let's move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. Firstly, I am going to apply a fast blur effect onto the top adjustment layer. Next, we have to apply another effect. This is a VR digital glitch effect. Lastly, we need to apply another effect. This is a brightness and contrast effect. And then let's go to the effect controls panel to customize the fast blur effect and the brightness and contrast effect. Leave the VR digital glitch effect as it is. Let's move the time indicator to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then we have to move the time indicator two frames forward. Now we have to create keyframes for the blurriness, brightness, and contrast parameters by clicking on the stopwatch icon. After that, let's move the time indicator three frames forward. Here, let's make the contrast parameter value around 40, and then let's make the brightness property value around 20. After that, we need to make the blurriness parameter value around 80. Next, we have to move the time indicator three frames forward. Now we have to make the blurriness, brightness, and contrast parameter value zero by clicking on the reset parameter icons. All right, now we are done. In the following step, we need some assets for the scribble transition. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. Let's drag and drop the first scribble transition overlay and the sound effect onto the project panel. All right, firstly, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the transition. Next, move the time indicator two frames forward. Now we have to drag and drop the scribble transition overlay to this position. After that, we have to select set to frame size to adjust the resolution. Next, move the time indicator six frames forward. And then we have to cut the scribble transition overlay to this position. In the next step, select the transition overlay and move over to the effect controls panel. From the blending mode parameter, we have to select the screen mode from the list. Lastly, we need to incorporate the transition sound effects to enhance the visual effects. These audio elements will help create a more dynamic and attention grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can add a really simple and nice scribble transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.